Hi everyone, I hope you had a great week, great weekend. I don't know when you're gonna watch this, but whatever it is, I hope you've had a great December so far. Let's say that, I know this is gonna go up in December. So if you're new here, I'm Melanie and I do food hauls and a few other bits and pieces. So today's shopping came to more than I thought it was gonna be. If you've been watching, I've been, like I typically have a £150 budget, it's fine if I go to £150, it's fine if I go on, over, but obviously it's nice to go under because then there's more money to spend on other things, but my budget is typically £150. For the last few weeks, several weeks maybe, you know, it's been between 110 and 130 odd, so I think it's over 140 this week, and when I'm looking at what I've bought, I'm like, how? I'm confused, maybe things have gone up again, I don't know. So Aldi, and I should have known from the Aldi receipt, it's not going to be great, because Aldi's been a lot cheaper recently. So Aldi was 69.14, and Asda was 72.39. Um, so let's get into it. So there is some chilled stuff in the fridge, but not much. And there's also a bag of stuff. I could have got a couple of things out from the bag, but I thought, seeing as there's not too much chilled stuff, I can put it all out and do a part two. Well, I'd be doing a part two anyway, but it wouldn't have been very big because there's not much in the fridge. So, this week, my Bistol was used up, um, which I'm happy about. So, all that's left in the cupboard is the onion version of this. Didn't clean the cooker hob. Never mind. I mean, I've not stopped from the last three days. It's nearly seven o'clock at night. I've still got loads to do after I've done this. So, cleaning the hob is not my priority right now. I not. I don't love the cheaper gravy granules. It's not as flavoursome. But, you know, if it's all I've got, I will use it. But I do prefer the branded stuff. But the other person that lives here doesn't mind this although they do say that the branded stuff's nicer they just tend to put a lot more in and they use it in here in the slow cooker to flavor it so it's not like they're using it as a gravy as such because they put stock cubes in as well it's just to thicken it up and make it taste good so that's predominantly for them but if i not if i don't have any gravy and i want gravy i'll be having that so then i got some caramel latte i think last week I ended up with vanilla i basically get whatever they've got I mean, although if they've only got latte, for some reason I don't always pick it up even though I've got things to flavour it with, so I don't know why. I have these on dog walks. I typically put one in as soon as I set off. Halfway around, I'll probably put another one in. I don't chew on it. I don't suck on it like much. It's just in my mouth and it predominantly dissolves. <laughs> so there was two versions of this. Just like last year, I'm not sure it's the same flavours, although the other one had, was cinnamon something and something, and I'm like, is the dog going to eat that? She might do. I mean, she eats all sorts of things you wouldn't imagine she would eat. But I got her this one. I think they're £3.99. It's going to last her a while. Um, Comets Turkey Stuffing and Gravy with Turkey and Gravy. I mean, kind of gives that away in the title. Festive Treats Enriched with Vitamins and Minerals. So that's what she's got. So last time I got... What flavour were they? Barbecue? Got salt and vinegar. Thought I'd give them a try. I keep craving salt and vinegar crisps. And it's not the same as having the crisps, but... I saw them and I thought, why not? Two packets of the honey barbecue because they're the best. Um, two small selection packs. I don't know how much they were. Were they one pound nine? I don't know. Just got them in to have them in. I'm not gonna have them anytime soon, but I do love Cadbury's. And also, I won't be having both of them. I had one of these before the, or after the dog walk. When did I have it? don't know after when i come on mince pies i won't be having any um melts cheese and i don't think they're cheaper than asda because you know sometimes on those middle aisles the branded stuff is sometimes either just one p cheaper because sometimes i would have bought them from asda and i know the price so there's been times i'm like oh I wonder if it's cheaper and nine times out of ten it's literally one p cheaper so I know these aren't cheaper, they're probably the same price, but obviously they don't always have them in. Cling film, because mine's getting low. I got some of these a couple of weeks ago. And I'm funny with chocolate. Like, if you know me, you know predominantly it's Cadbury's, Cadbury's only. I like a creamy chocolate. I don't particularly like Galaxy. I had some Galaxy the other day, it wasn't great. 
Um, I've had cheaper chocolate things before and a lot of the time I just don't like it. This one, I don't mind the chocolate, but the filling kind of overpowers the chocolate anyway. But I actually rate it, so I got another pack. Baked cheese things, cheap paracetamol, cheap ibuprofen. Two cans of beans because literally ran out this week, never run out. Sometimes we don't have beans for weeks and weeks, maybe even a couple of months. There was a couple of months when we didn't have any, but they're going in baked potatoes. I haven't had it in baked potato, but someone else has. So it's like, I can't remember the last time we didn't have at least one tin of beans. Um, we don't have any, but we now have two. Now we're going on to Asda. I'll start with this. I've got another one, Sweet Clems. Then... These were like on offer for one seventy five because it's a new packaging. And do you know when you come home and you think I should have got two? Because normally they're two fifty, every now and then they're reduced to two pounds, and that's when I try to get them. So really I should have got a second pack and I actually like the design, it just stands out a little bit more. What's that called? Neurofirm. I got two of these. Do you know there's an offer where it's three for three pound or the one pound nine each? This was the only one without the pricing that like it basically indicated it weren't involved in the deal but it has been so I only picked two up in case it's not in the deal because I normally get the nuggets as well and I only opened a packet of the nuggets the other day so she don't need any and plus she's got those wag treats but it basically was saying that this wasn't in the offer I don't know if they've changed it because this is really popular I don't know but I didn't want to get free and not get the discount and I know it's not the biggest discount in the world but every bit helps I got some misfits. This is what she has to act like instead of dental sticks. She went off them, I don't know why. Brussels sprouts, butter. I always get the one in offer. What then? Parsnips, bananas, limes. I basically got all my fruit. Well, not that I've got a lot of fruit, but all the fruit and stuff. Veg from Asda because if you spend, well, on my app anyway, if I spend £12 in the next 12 days. I get a pound back. I know that's not even 10%, but I'm going to be buying the veg anyway. I've only got £4.5 to go, so I'll do that next week. Two bags of the little potatoes, a bag of carrots. Then I saw this, and it's actually gone down, but they've not like... Do you know how some of the things they're reducing in price and they're making a big deal about it and putting big things up saying, this has been reduced. It never said that, but I believe this was only £3. Unless I've completely misread it. Um... I'm literally walking back to the receipt. Um, and I was like, I'm going to get that because the last time I got the next size down, and I only got it because it was an offer for 2 50 or something, I thought, well, this is only £3, then I'm going to get it. I'm literally trying to find the price. Gravy, £3. So it's gone down because I'm sure it was £4, which is still a lot. I got a Polish chocolate bar. They do two versions of this, and this is the better one of the two. So if you see this one, it's about 45p. I like it. So, as to now send vouchers to your app, and one of the discounts were if I bought, spent over six pounds on Lucas Aid Sport, I got a pound off. So I picked two of these up, and the three fifty each. So basically, it would take the total down to seven. And I've been buying the big bottles because it's just working out better for me. And I almost got one of these and three of them, but it would have worked out more expensive. But when I've got more drink, I can't remember. I didn't really have time to work it out in the shop. When I went to check out, my voucher wouldn't load. And the woman on the checkout said, you're only saving a pound. I was like, yeah, but that pound adds up because I might save a pound on that and some on that and some on that. And she just didn't care. And I'm sure she could have done something to make a pound discount. So I didn't get the pound discount. And I wouldn't have bought two packs. I probably would have just bought one of the big ones or maybe two of the big ones because I don't have much else. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have bought eight bottles this week. So for some reason, my tin's very dented. It's not really showing. And I'm sure, I think I picked it up that dented. I don't think it's showing. Now, I love tomato soup by Heinz, but Heinz is quite, I don't know how it got so expensive. And I've never tried any other tinned brands of tomato soup. Now, I don't always want tomato soup. Do you know, there's those times when you crave certain things. I want it in for one of those days when we're like, oh, I fancy soup, oh, I fancy tomato soup. Then I've got it. Because you can't beat Heinz tomato soup. It's just one of those comfort foods. And yeah, this was on offer. That's why I got it. Now, last week I got the chicken and vegetable one. And apparently, well, someone thought I'd actually made it. 
because apparently it was that good. So I thought this week I'll try them with the beef and vegetable. I think it's 120 for the Asda chunk here and the thinner ones are a pound. I had this last time, it's about to run out. I wouldn't say it's as good as Vanish, but it's two pounds. And you get a similar product for like the Vanish one that's like four pound. So yeah, ideally I would get the Vanish, but if I would have got the Vanish, I would have been even closer to 50, but I didn't even think I was gonna, 50, 150. I didn't even think I was gonna be close to 150, so. Yeah, it'll do. I mean, I don't know if it's working as good. Like, I don't think it is, but I've not got anything. I mean, the jumper I've got on will test if it's good or not because I've got a stain on it. So, because I've got long hair, sometimes the shower blocks, sometimes the sink blocks in my ensuite. The sink's block. It's not block block, it's draining. Super slowly. Now, I normally get a branded one, but today, when I looked at the Mr. Muscle one, which is... Well, Silic Bang, and Mi Silic Bang and Mr. Muscle are the two best ones. And there's a couple of different uh, Mr. Muscle ones. Um, but it's the drain unblocker thing. I can't remember what it is. You would have seen it if you watched my videos. It'd gone up to 550 And the Silic Bang were 450 And I'm like, what? Then there were other ones. There were like these... I can't remember the brand names. I've had them all before. Now, this isn't great. I'm not going to lie. It's not the best, but I'm just wanting for my sink. My shower's fine. What I'll do is I'll probably put half of this in the sink and probably half down the shower just because prevention's better than cure. And the shower will need doing soon anyway. But it's not the best unblocker. So probably in the new year, I'm going to get the most expensive one because they need a good clear out. These are still on offer, but luckily... They were actually stuck in the showers and they've just stopped them up. I should have got three or four because I know next week I'm going to go and there's not going to be any. Um, the dog loves them. So I've got two of these if one's in the fridge. I'm going to have it very soon because I need something. I only got one last week. We needed one each. Don't know what I was thinking. In fact, I've not actually needed it. But yesterday? Was it yesterday? When it was, was it yesterday? No, wait. Yes, it was the day before. Um, I said, can you just spray my windscreen at the top? And it, by the time I come out, it would have worked its way down because I didn't go out for another hour. And they'd done the front and the back, just sprayed across the top, a big thick strip, not loads. And when I went out, my windscreen and back screen were completely defrosted on the outside, not on the inside, because for some reason, mine had frozen up on the inside. Um, so yeah, if you, just, if you don't want to sit waiting for it to defrost or stand there with the scraper... Spray it on and it'll sort itself out. So I've got myself one. I've got two of these sparkling apple and mango. Now I've got five apple and elderflower because I literally have none of these left in. Aldi is starting a Pepsi Max pricing war. Now as you know, I've been getting, predominantly been getting the Pepsi Max from Aldi for quite a while because they've had them priced at 179 I think it was originally 189 then they went 179 then a couple of weeks ago, Asda put them back on two for free. So then I started to get them back at Asda. So I was walking through Asda, Aldi. Oh, before I forget, I also got an eight pack of Pepsi Max cans, but they're not here because they're for the office. Um, these are on off. Well, these are 125. So I picked up four. I would normally pick up two. And then again, I had hindsight afterwards. I was like, why didn't I pick up eight? Because that's going to last a month because they typically go through two a week. And I'm going to save 75p a bottle, or, well, not at Aldi's prices, but still, I'm going to save about 50p a bottle at Aldi prices. But you don't think of it at the time, you just think, oh, I'll get a couple extra. So if it's still on offer and in, and in stock next week, I'll probably get four again. So, yeah. And that's all I've got out. I am going to put this away and get the rest out i mean i might get to sit down at some point today i've not stopped um but that is everything any questions please feel free to leave them down below if you're new to my channel or you watch my videos but you aren't subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to press the notification button that way you'll get an alert when i upload i hope you all have a fantastic day week month and and we'll be back in a few days with the second part thank you so much for watching